Hello again. I uh, hope you're uh, excited to get back to an English class. Let's take a quick look at your uh, daily agenda. This is all kind of repeated from what is in the email for you guys today. So I hope you read through that. Now you just listen to me and make sure that you understand each piece of what you're seeing on this table. First, we have the No Red Ink lesson. Some of you guys have that finished already. I don't think there's any need to go back to it. We'll look at a No Red Ink quiz next week over this review stuff. I hope it feels easy. Keep looking at that stuff and staying familiar with it. That's all we do with No Red Ink right now. Um, and being you gotta be getting that 10 minutes at a time. We got 40 minutes due Friday, and there's 10 minutes each day in English class uh, for you to get that done. So that should be a pretty easy way to earn those points for this week. For the journal response here, the next square that we're looking at, all right, um, I think it's going to take you about five minutes, right? Just, just pull up the Google Classroom prompt. I want you to write a little bit about uh, what you thought of the poem, The Song of Wandering Angus. Just respond to the questions that are there, but set that timer, okay? Type for five minutes or write for five minutes. Most guys are doing a pretty good job of that. Some of you guys, especially if I've talked to you about being a reluctant writer, you know, make yourself put as much as you can, okay? I'd love to see more than just three or four answers um, because you can't get five minutes better at writing if you don't write for five minutes. That's the purpose of our journal. So please stay with that, all right? And then you're gonna be able to go again today to another poem by William Butler Yeats. This one is called The Lake Isle of Innisfree. That's a real place in Ireland where he lived, and it's a quick little poem about that. You're gonna have two videos again today, uh, besides this one. One where I read the poem for you so that you can hear it, and I think that helps you process it a different way. I think that's a good habit. And then also a second one that kind of reminds you of how to do the notes properly, uh, and one that kind of gives you a couple of things to think about that I hope will help you understand the poem better. Um, I think this poem is more straightforward than The Song of Wandering Angus. Um, and that I'll talk about how you can get full credit on the notes. Some of you guys missed the boat just a little bit uh, on those notes from yesterday. So we want full credit on each of these assignments. It should be a 10 out of 10 for everybody. Make sure you're listening to that second video, at least the video about how to take notes uh, on the poem. All I need from you... Um, that I'm going to verify and put in the grade book today are those notes from the Lake Isle of Ennisfree, okay? Just like you did yesterday, although let's make sure that we write two sentences as the directions will indicate and that you have a quote to support your answers and make sure you're labeling your notes. And I'll talk to you guys about that again in the next couple of videos. Uh, be in touch. Email me. Absolutely need to hear from you, okay? Email me every day any question you have and uh, that's how we'll take care of every other problem we have. I will be reaching out to some of you guys through uh, Google Meet. Um, still trying to figure out how to do that right. Uh, so um, just would be a good chance for us to touch base. And uh, I definitely want to say hey to you guys and make sure everything's okay. So I'll talk to you soon. Take care.